How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Mojo Grip Mike here. Today I am back in North Carolina, but a different side of North Carolina because I actually just flown in this beast. Stay tuned. We're gonna check out the TVM 900. When you're looking at turboprops, TBM is one of the most elite in that class. And there's not that many of them. You've got the TBM, the Piper M600, Epic just joined the line, and then you have your experimentals as well. But TBM is well known. And just to show you, I am literally in a pool of TBMs here. I've got one behind me. I've got one over there. Um, but I want to talk about this particular model, the 900 series, because we've covered TBMs on the channel before, but we haven't covered this one, which if you were in the class right now or you were in the market to look uh, to buy a TBM, you'd be looking hard at this one because it checks all the boxes. You don't have every single feature that you have, say, in the late models or the newer models. But when it comes to practicality, this one fits the bill, but let me go around it so you can just enjoy the beauty of this thing. And then I'll tell you more about the flying characteristics of it. Because again, I just flew on the right side of this aircraft and boy, that was an experience. So a little history of TBM actually. The TBM series starts with the 700, which again, we have some in this shop. If I have some time, I'll show it to you. This video is brought to you by me. I am officially teaching people how to make a living on YouTube as I have done for almost a decade. Whether you're looking to make some passive income or you're looking to grow your brand, my comprehensive course will teach you step by step how to grow a YouTube channel. Make sure you watch this video till the end and I'll share more details with you. In the meantime, you can leave me your email address in the description below and enjoy the video. So in this aircraft, as a normal model of the A50, you still have the same Pratt & Whitney 850 horsepower. And you can see here, four bladed prop, heart tool, and you can see the giant outlet for the exhaust here. Guys, one thing I would say for sure in flying this airplane, I was so shocked on how quiet <laughs> it was in the cabin. Because again, I'm, I come from the piston world, so I'm used to just loud noises, vibrations, all of that. You don't get that in turboprops, more particularly this airplane. I was shocked how quiet it was in the cabin. I'm like, wait, is the engine on right now? He's like, yeah. And I'll show you that flight video shortly. But yeah, guys, that was a little history for the TBM. Now, let's get back to this particular model. All TBMs from the 900s, probably the 800 actually, you get this front locker here which you can put some storage, maybe some golf bags or clubs in there. And one thing that also came with the 900 series is this winglet. Now, the cute thing is I asked, does this winglet actually serve a purpose uh, in performance? And it doesn't. You get this really nice LEDs that come with it, but it doesn't serve a purpose. It just looks better. The wing, the airframe, it's pretty much the same from the 700 series. You have some iteration in the cabin, but the actual airframe of the TBM is all streamlined from the 700, 800, and 900. But something that is different with the 900 series is you get these big giant doors. Now, they're not as big as, say, the Pilatus, but you can see the, the width of this. If you look at a 700, it's shorter width. So this is much wider. And you do have the step up in all of your TVMs. And something really nice that you get with the 940 series is you get a front door. And that's also optional. So not all owners and pilots actually uh, opt in for that front door, but it does make a nice, easier entry if that's what you want. Now, let's get inside because this is where the magic happens, so to speak. Now, don't mind the mess in here. This is actually most of my gear. Um, and getting ready here. But just look at the cabin of the TBM. Again, this is standard for all TBMs, whether you get the 800, the 900, the 910, 930, 940, 
this is all going to look very similar. And you have your baggage compartment here. You can see here it says 200 pounds or 220 pounds maximum. Now, something that you should also see in this uh, TBM, you can change the structure of your cabin however you want. The normal uh, TBMs or standard is four seats. So you have one, two, and then you have another one, two front facing seats here. So you're facing each other. But in this TBM, they took out two seats to allow more room. So again, it's your plane. You can have it however you want. And something really cool that I saw earlier, if I lifted that up, that nice blanket up, you would see that there's a locker also underneath uh, the, the seat, so it makes it more practical. But let me show you what the uh, cockpit looks like. So to get in, you go through the steps, and also you've got this nice handle here. If you're not a passenger, you wanna be up here. So let's just pause for a minute. All your TBMs, from the 800 series will have the G1000 or just all Garmin. I don't, I don't know of any other uh, avionics panel that the TBM uses, it's all Garmin. What you do have that's different from, I believe the 930 or the 940 is this has the G1000 avionics and the 940 has the G3000 avionics, which comes with some other nice safety features matter of fact if you are in the market right now for your a turboprop or more particular a tbm they actually train pilots here to get their rating to be able to fly one of these so if you're looking to get trained to fly a tbm just use the link in the description or the number in the description and you can get in touch with them here at brett james they train new pilots how to fly a tbm 900. So if we get closer here, you have your nice yokes here. And what's beautiful about turbo props, you can see all you have is a single lever. That's it. There's no extra nothing, just a single throttle lever. Now that lever does serve different purposes. But that's it that the uh, pilot has to use. You have a center large screen here, the primary display secondary just on this flight and i'll show you some of the clips here that's a backup you'd have your instrumentation here and this middle we mostly use it just to look out for traffic and navigation and you can have your engine screen but the beautiful thing about a g1000 or g3x or g3000 is you can also configure uh, your screen to what you want to see so that's pretty neat and something that's different also with the g1000 compared to the g3000 is this is buttons, which some really like actually. Uh, in the G3000, you have touchscreen for these functions here. Like most other airplanes, your rudders are down there, very comfortable. Like, honestly, this is the first I've seen because I put my feet on these and they're very nice actually. Simple things like that. It's, those are very nice to put your foot on. And if you look below here, you have your circuit breakers. Something that is unique for turbo problems but more particularly the TBM that vent as soon as your engine come on guess what also comes on air condition again from a guy coming from piston world that just felt like heaven in this heat so you've got nice vents there that puts out nice cool air and then up here you do have some of your electronic switches here and I should mention that the TBM 900 you have a pressurized cabin, which is sweet. That's why you can fly at high altitude in this airplane. Now, speaking of that high altitude, let me step out and share some numbers with you, performance numbers. Actually, before we talk about the numbers, some really neat features I should share about the TBM. You see the cut window size here? Not too big, not too small, but I love the design of the square shape here. But also, look at that. You do have an emergency door right there. In case of an emergency, you can also get out of this airplane through that window there. And when you look at the length of this cabin, the closest airplane I like to compare the TBM to is the Piper M600. And if you stay tuned, first hit that subscribe button so you can get notification. But stay tuned, I'm going to talk to a TBM expert and he's going to tell you some of the clear differences between a TBM 
in a Piper M series. There are, guys, if you're in the market for a turboprop right now, you want to watch that video. Okay, so let's get back to this one. Okay, so you have your exit door there. Now, in terms of performance, your useful load in this airplane, I'm going to use useful load more as payload because that's what really matters. Once you fill up your fuel tanks here and you're using Jet A, again, this is practically a jet because you have a turbine engine. When you fill up those tanks, you have a range of about 1300 nautical miles and your payload is about a thousand pounds. Now, just think about that for a second. As configured right now, this plane has four seats total. Standard is six seats. I think a thousand pounds can fit six people, even with luggage. So a thousand pounds payload, that's what set this airplane apart, honestly, when you think about any other turboprop in the market. So 1,300 nautical miles, if your bladder can take it, and then you have a thousand pounds of use, uh, payload once the, uh, the fuel are filled up. Now, your performance, TBMs are well known for speed. <laughs> That's why a lot of owners flock towards this airplane uh, compared to say the M600 or even the Pilatus. TBMs are faster. And your normal cruise in this airplane, as a matter of fact, we just flew here from Atlanta, Georgia, and we were about 15,000 feet. And at that, we were cruising at 270 knots. True, doing about 255 on the ground. Now, if we went higher, the sweet spot for this airplane, the 900 series is between 28 and 31,000 feet. And at that, you'd be looking at north of 300 knots. 300 knots, so that's light jet territory, maybe even faster than some light jets. So again, this airplane is known for that, the speed that you get with it. Now, how much are you going to cough out for all of that? To buy a TBM 900 series right now, starting from the 900, or 910 or 930, for this particular model, you're gonna find them in the market north of $3 million, 3.2, 3.5, if you opted up to the 940, then you're going to be north of $4 million. Again, these are generally going to be used. You could possibly buy a 900 uh, TBM directly from the factory brand new. One, you'd probably have to wait another two years to get one of these brand new. But if you're shopping right now in the used market, you're going to be looking at 3 million and up for a TBM 900. The YouTube Success Academy. This is a full digital course that will take you from zero to getting your first thousand subscribers to 10,000 to 100,000 subscribers. YouTube is the most underrated marketing tool. And in this course, which will cover over 20 chapters, I will teach you the best practices, how to properly optimize your content for SEO. You will learn the do's and don'ts for video scheduling. You will learn social engagement, how to stay consistent with your content and uploading. More importantly, you will learn how to make some money with your content. And finally, I will show you how to automate your processes. That way you can just continue to earn passive income without you being by your computer every single hour of the day. To sign up for this course, leave your email in the video description or you can purchase the course directly through the link below. As a special offer to my YouTube audience, you will get 40% off. Just make sure to use the coupon code OWN2023. And I will see you in the next class. So if you have $3 million in the bank, you can buy you one of these babies. And as I said, if you're actually a first timer and you're looking, you're just stepping into the turboprop world, or perhaps you're stepping down from a jet, whatever, to get your type rate in, uh, or you're waiting for this aircraft to fly it safely, they train pilots here how to fly a TBM. You can train here, you can buy one through here, and you can just check the description uh, and you get more information on that. Okay, so that is my review of the TBM 900. I hope you enjoyed it, man. This thing is a beast. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Mike. Make sure you subscribe if this is your first time. Also hit that notification bell for me and I will catch you on the next video. Peace.